Today, I'm trying something a little different. I'm doing a DIY challenge. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm doing, you know what to do. Stick around. Hello friends, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to say welcome. Thank you for dropping in. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, I want to thank you for your continuing support. Now you know you're in the right place if you want to make decorating and home organization a bit easier on the budget. If so, then click that red subscribe button you see down below and give your girl a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the notification bell twice. This way you'll be notified each time I upload something new. Now today I am participating in an open invitation collaboration. This collaboration is entitled The Look for Less. And it is hosted by two wonderful YouTubers, Yami of The Latina Next Door and Leonette from DIY Beauty On Purpose. Now if you're not familiar with these ladies' channels, I will have a link to their channels and the playlist when it becomes available down below in the description. Now, let's talk about their rules. Now, the first thing they ask is for you to follow proper protocol for collaborations, and that information will be listed down below. Now, they ask that you create a piece of home decor from a high-scale store and do it on a budget. And they want to see your picture and the price of your high-end home decor and the picture and the price of what your rendition looks like. Hmm. So I'm not much of a DIYer, but I wanted to do this one because it's a picture I've been wanting to have in my home. So if you're interested in seeing what I came up with for this open invitation, you know what to do. Stick around. Okay, here's the item I want to copy. It's from Pottery Barn. It's a circle wall mounted voltage holder. Now, as you see, it's $169. I'm going to recreate it for much less. So hopefully it turns out okay. Now, here are the items I'm using. These rings I ordered from Amazon. They were $13. Yeah, $13. And then I got these champagne cups from the Dollar Tree. Now, what I did was I took the bottom off the champagne cup. Okay, I came out here between the rings and sprayed a second coat on the rings. And I've even sprayed those bottoms there. But it's starting to miss, so I need to bring everything in. So let me stop filming and drag this in the house. I'm going to say note to self. Next time I attempt this project, or if you do, make sure you lay it out and cut the pieces before you start gluing any of them together. I made that mistake on the first couple of rings, but afterwards I kind of got my head on straight. So I'm going to stop talking and let you watch. Okay, now I've attached the bottom of the Dollar Tree cups to the rings and re-sprayed, painted it again. I'm not a good DIYer, but I'm doing my best to get this to look like I want it to look. So here is this, and now when it dries, when it dries, I will show you how it looks hanging on my wall. All right, here is my finished product on the wall. I think it turned out pretty good. I see some issues that maybe if I attempt to redo it, I won't do it the same way, but I got it done. Here it is over my table. 
So I think it looks pretty good on the wall. Again, I'm not the average DIYer. I don't do too many DIYs. <laughs> and if you get close enough to that picture up there, you'll see why. Uh, but I did my best. And I think it came out kind of cute. So let me know what you think down below. I would love to read your comments. And again, this is Stephanie of Creatively Miss Me saying you be blessed.